Hello, all my wonderful Animal Crossing New Horizons friends. It's Paige here, and I have this wonderful island tour to share with you. It's the island of Blue Canary. And let's just take a look at her map. But first, her flag is so amazing. I love the peacock and swan themed flag. It is just absolutely darling. All right, so on her map, we have, we have La Laura, Nate, Argos, Celeste, Raymond, Blanche, Cranston, Sprocket, Gladys, Sherb, Phoebe, Flora, Knox, and Julia. And her dream address will be included in the description box below. So let's get started on this wonderful, beautiful island tour. I am so excited to share this island with you because it is very European and it has so many beautiful areas to look at. Just look at those beautiful fountains and the statues. And then just heading under the wedding arch here, we have a beautiful fairy, fairy garden with peacocks and I love the frozen pillars. Here's Argos. Oh, isn't Argos so darling? So this pebble walkway is very well done and I love how she has used the floor lights to light the way. And then down here we have the beautiful fountain with the harps and the musical instruments. It's so elegant and, and pretty. And then we've got a wedding on the seashore. Look at this beautiful peacock. Here is the wedding on the seashore come have a beachside wedding. And then she has also collected lots and lots of surfboards from all the different, from all the different friends that she's made along the way. I love the Cosmo shower to, to shower off after surfing. And notice the rocks on the sand. Isn't that so interesting that she used that, that custom code to add some more rocks? The butterflies on top of the frozen pillars is a very nice touch. And of course, she has a theme on her island. Not only is it a European themed island, but it also has lots and lots of blue and white and cream color scheme. I love the artwork out here on the beach. It's just so, so nice to see the artists going out to the beach to get their inspiration. The peacocks and the swans that you see throughout her whole island are, are designs that she has created herself. And so I'll be sure to link her, her creator code in the description box below. Look at these interesting camper vans. They're so vintage and just a fun way to enjoy beach life right here by the beach or the surf. Her entrance is so beautiful and elegant. And I love how she's used the garden benches out here by the water. So I have never been to Italy, but I think this island reminds me of, of Italy, how they have the artists out selling their artwork. Every day they go out and, and sell their artwork to the tourists. 
so many talented artists in Italy and France. The museum is very elegant and simple. And then you have all of the little food booths along the way where you can get coffee or a nice cup of, of tea and then you can buy some croissants or crepes. Here's some delicious cheese for sale. And then we have the palace. I love the armor out here and the vineyard. Oh my gosh, isn't this vineyard just so incredibly amazing? I love the vineyard area. So 90% of the codes on her island, I will link in the description box below, just in case you want to create a European island as well. I think it's really, really interesting how she has the little stalls out here selling their wares right in front of the palace. And we've got Able Sisters and some really fun country style dresses or English garden dresses. A nice spot to sit and just relax and her campground is in the woods so very foresty I think we need to explore that a little bit further so we'll we'll wander over there later and take a look and then she's got her little villager houses here lots of villagers Notice how many Lily of the Valley she has. Every time you have a five-star island, you get a Lily of the Valley. I decided to go home and change into a more English style dress or Italian style so that I'll fit the theme of her island a little bit better. So I'm wearing my blue gown and I'm ready to finish exploring this darling little island. Notice how she's made a little area just for the moon. I think that is wonderful. And then out here, oh, here is Laura. Hello, my darling. Don't you look so cute in your red gingham dress? She looks so adorable. All right, so this is her campground area and I can't I can't seem to get down there but it's very woodsy and looks like a fun little camping area I love the little tiny tent up here and then just heading over this bridge she's used the festival garland as edges for her bridge that's a very, very nice touch. And then we've got a cute little cottage up here to explore. And behind the cottage is another area where it shows you can climb. So we're just going to climb down and take a look around. I see that this is leading to her secret beach and oh my goodness look at that all right we're gonna climb back up and use the stairs to go to the secret beach but first let's go the other direction and see what's on the other side so behind her little cottage there is a nice little area to go and explore down by the water
I love the shelf fountain out here and the pebble walkway. And oh my goodness, there's some more villager houses. So nice and cozy and quaint. And just look down there, we've got more peacocks basking in the sunshine. She has used a lot of the statues throughout her island's build just to make it look more elegant. Let's go check out the cottage. Oh, it's so pretty inside. I love the little puppy dogs here. Hi, little dogs. How are you? I'm a big fan of little purse puppies. Oh, and look at this really Asian-inspired kitchen. Isn't this so interesting? I love the gold vintage fridge and the espresso maker. Oh my gosh, everything matches the artwork on the walls. That is really, really fun. Good use of the ironwood furniture as well. And out here on the back patio, we can come out and enjoy a nice garden with the outdoor bath and the Secura, not the Secura, but the maple leaf rock. Oh, notice her little computer desk area. That's pretty cool. Upstairs is a, tr a rooftop area to enjoy the stars and have a nice dinner together. This is super awesome. I absolutely love, love, love stargazing. And so this is wonderful. What a great idea for, for the top part of your house to make a rooftop observation area. And then just heading down the basement, we have a little peacock float that can take you down to King Lud Ludwig's Grotto by the palace. I think this is super fun and exciting. Go for a nice little nighttime ride, kind of like what they do on the gondolas. Here's peacocks basking in the sunshine and just enjoying being outdoors, a nice little coffee area. And then we've got the pirate beach. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this so much. I love how she's used the pirate theme for her secret beach. It's perfect for Red because he is a pirate after all. Nice little place to have a cup of coffee or tea. And ooh, I love the blue hydrangeas. All right, let's just head down to more villager houses.
Notice her fountain as we ran by. And here's a nice little bonfire area. You can listen to some jazz music by the ocean and the boardwalk. Look how nicely decorated her boardwalk is. Lots of areas to sit and enjoy the surf and the ocean breeze as you enjoy a delicious apple cider. And this pathway leads to her secret beach again. That's so fun. And of course, we can just keep on going all the way to Easter Rock or the big rock from Easter Island. That is so much fun. It's just fun that she has decorated every part of her wonderful island. So many fun places to explore. Now we'll be able to take a better look at her fountain area. I think the mosaic um, fountain is so interesting and unique. And then she has a little bakery out here where you can get some delicious crepes or berlingers and the fruit stalls. Oh my gosh, how perfect. And just heading this way, we can go and explore the Asian part of our island. This area is so beautiful and well decorated. And it looks so authentic. So when you come visit her island, make sure you check out this part of her island because it is very, very, very well decorated. I love this little stream with the koi fish. And of course, down here on the wharf, you can get some fresh fish at the market, the fish market. Super duper awesome. Who doesn't love fresh seafood caught right out of the ocean? And then she's got her little camper down here with the yellow tent. The kids tent is so cute because it's just perfect for a little campsite. And then we're just heading up this way. Oh, look at that little beach blanket with the umbrella. Here's a place for the fishermen to go fishing and they've even caught a little tadpole in there. <laughs> oh my heck, that was hilarious. Come enjoy a nice cold drink. Visit with friends. I love how she used the festival stalls down here too because the color is very, very perfect for a beachside like area. Look how she's used the butterfly inside the wedding bell. That's different and fun. Oh, and the cotton candy maker. That just reminds me of something you would see in a European town. Heading over the little Zen bridge. Here's the ancient ruins, ancient rock ruins. Another beautiful fountain area to enjoy. And now we are at the little market area where you can come and just go shopping and have a wonderful time. 
And I love how she set out little chess tables for the older gents to sit and play chess. In the shade trees. Notice how the flower cart matches the street lamps and the garden benches. Everything is so well decorated. Here you can get some pump up here and pudding. And the festival party area where you can come and get free recipes. I love this Asian area of her island. If you're thinking of making a Japanese or Asian themed island, this will give you lots and lots of inspiration right here. This little walkway is so quaint. And just check out the Japanese wind socks. They're so amazingly awesome. Oh, and here's a cute little camper girl. Hi, sweetheart. Aren't you a doll? She's the one that lives in the little yellow tent. So maybe we should go check out the yellow tent area. See if there's anything inside of here. Ooh, it is a little library. Oh, how wonderful. So if you're out on the beach and you want to read a good book, you can come in here and get a book to take out on the beach with you. Or if you're doing research on the ocean life, very, very nice. What a nice touch to have a library on the beach. I always enjoy reading a nice book. And the little yellow tent to match is so cute and adorable. This area is so well decorated, I can't believe it. So many fun, fun ideas for for an island that you're creating. Let's just check out the boulevard a little bit more. I want to make sure I see every part of her beautiful island. Such a beautiful fountain and the water looks so real. I absolutely love that swan. Can you believe she created that? So be sure to look at her custom designs portal when you come to visit because she has so many of her own designs here. More delicious treats. Let's see if there's any hidden passageways back here. There is a beautiful waterfall. I hope this island is giving you lots and lots of inspiration. That's why I always go on island tours is to get new ideas from so many amazing creators. And Lara 
has not disappointed us at all. She is so talented. Should we go inside of the Mario pipe and see where it leads? This will be fun. Woohoo! Here we go. And ta da! We are at the palace moat inside of her beautiful little cottage. What a neat idea. All right, one thing I wanted to do is go check out the winery one more la one last time. So to get over to the vineyard, you just hop across. Actually, let's use the ladder and climb down. All right, we're heading over to the vineyard. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be fun to create a vineyard on your island? Phoebe is wondering what the heck I'm up to. <laughs> She's like, why are you creeping around? <laughs> anyway, all right, so we're heading up to the vineyard and just passing by Able Sisters once again. Is there a secret passageway through here to get to the vineyard? Oh dear, there isn't. Okay, let's go back the way we were came and use the stairway. So just heading up the stairs, we have now arrived at the beautiful vineyard. I loved how she used the pine cone arch as an entrance to the vineyard. And then she has little glasses of wine out here for tasting. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, this is so beautiful in here. Have a wine tasting party. Look at all the bottles of wine. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is so amazing. Be sure to give Laura some love on Instagram and I will link all her social medias in the description box below as well. And please come and explore her island for yourself because it really is so beautiful and unique and different and just delightful. Oh, my favorite part, walking through the frozen pillars. I like the little drinking fountain right there too. That was such a nice touch. All right, my friends. If there is anything that you need for your islands, you can always go to the website that will be included in the description box below. And oh my goodness, who is this? It's Nate. Oh, he's the airline pilot coming to wish us a good journey home. And also we have the chicken. Should we go say hello to him? Wishing us goodbye. Isn't he so adorable? I love his little helmet. Oh, and he called me Cluckling. All right, so there's the website to get your bells or your Nook Mile tickets for a really good price. 
and we will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you have a wonderful magical day and we'll see you next time. Bye.